Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Mortal Eagles The Russian Campaign We are back here in our awesome campaign of Russia just uniting the entire map from up all the way to here It's it's really awesome So what I've kind of noticed is, is that this game is really short And it only lasts about 20 years And well we're about halfway there. Well, a little bit more than halfway there I've done with this campaign. And right now, uh, we still have a lot of places we need to conquer. Like, we need all of this. We need all of this kind of region. And we also need just this little parts from the Ottoman. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this, kick the Russian campaign into ultimate overdrive. And we are going to start instantly not even gonna pause it or unpause it gonna instantly declare war on the Ottomans all right I don't even have to do anything I'm gonna move my troops over here and over there to get to get the places I need because basically from now here on out we're going for dominance trades we're gonna try to take over places that are instantly effective towards us and instantly help us towards our dominance like dominance land thing it also uh, also I guess kind of curve it to where I will basically what my plan is here for the Ottomans I'm gonna split them completely up <laughs> I don't want that in my own campaign to happen in the Ottomans but in this I'm gonna try to split them completely up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break off Greece I'm going to take over Moldavia watch I'm gonna try to take over Moldavia um, from that there should be about 62 war score um, from then I will also try to split up and make Iraq over here so that we have another good center of attack to, for them and maybe I'll try to split up some of Palestine and places over here that's what I'm going to try to do this episode um ah I hate this map mode <laughs> uh, that's what I'm basically gonna try to do there and it should not be like super duper hard alright it should not be super duper hard these guys are basically losing their entire army towards the uh, uh what are they called to the Austrians yes to the Austrians so that won't be that won't be a problem I mean look at this they basically got all their land conquered they're gonna peace out with them at any time soon take the Austrians I'm guessing are gonna take this much land so you know that'll be good I don't think they'll go all the way down here and claim claim the land we need so that will be good but they'll probably peace out and then I'll instantly just take over everything all over again because all the fortresses will, be, fortresses will be unguarded we'll have a good attack and right now off screen I'm gonna do a massive recruiting one because we need a lot more soldiers than the ones we're producing and I mean we do have a massive army it is still coming down from its recent Swedish campaign which was by far the most awesome thing ever but we need to kind of ah, we need to kind of kick it like I said, we need to kind of kick a lot of things in a lot of high gear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here, pause it, and I'm just going to do a massive recruiting run again. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, back. And what I basically did was I decided to do a massive recruiting run over here. And as we can see, this is this is the entire infantry line. This is where I'm creating most of my infantry. Um, over here is where I'm creating most of my uh, cavalry. And over here is where I'm creating most of my artillery. And interesting enough... Art um, not artillery, but horses in this game actually take longer to create than artillery. You know, I would have actually thought it would have been the reverse, but eh, we'll see. So anyways, uh, let's begin with our invasions. We have multiple invasions. I'm quickly going to try to stomp out that invasion. Um, we have basically two fronts we have to work on right now, so I'm just going to try to keep it... Yeah, this is a good this is a good video or good like kind of overview of what's happening. All right, and what we're basically gonna try to do is we're also gonna try to stop the Austrian advancements over here. And if they already have this town right here, then I'm just gonna go straight to Constantinople. Uh, man. Okay, we got our first little attack right here. I know we're not supposed to be sieging down, but we're just trying to damage them as much as possible. And I know I'm losing lots of troops, but that is the good thing about my army is that even though we have We've lost some... Okay, we have to get this to full speed. This is going to get annoying. First, let me pause it. Get this siege started. Alright. Defeat. Yes, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so sad. How many did they lose? They lost a good amount. Alright. 
Um, the Ottomans are starting to retreat. They're starting to realize that they are outmatched in this war. Moving victory. Oh wait, these guys are still intact. Are you guys moving up to Lancy? Right, how are we doing over here? Because at this... Seriously though, people. At this moment, we have to really be conservative about how we attack. From the rest of this game on, we have to be... Really concentrating on... Just moving in and kicking the butt of everyone. So let's see. Move these guys to Endrain. I'm not going to siege attack it until we destroy those guys over there. Okay. Skirmishers kill these guys. Alright. You guys moving in. Um, you guys. I'll give you guys the assault attack in a second. Um, okay, you guys won your guys' attack. Um, you guys are going towards there. Um, you know what? Actually, what I'll do is I'll probably group these two units together. Alright. You know what, I'm going to turn down the speed actually. I, I Usually I like having fast speed, but since I'm doing lots of micromanagement, I'm trying to make sure that we don't lose. Yeah, I'm going to wait for these guys to attack. Because as I've learned in my Ottoman campaign so many times, do not, repeat, do not attack when there's another garrison force there. Okay, they're moving away, so do siege down these guys. Okay, they're sieging down them. Right, the, we're over here in Moldavia. Um, let's completely destroy these guys. Mm. All right, losing lots of men, but that's okay. Okay, good. Impetuous commander, whatever. I don't, I don't think. Yeah, he's not one of my big commanders. I really care about. Okay, next you go right here. You guys, uh, mm. you know, what? we zoom the assault. I want to keep, I want to keep damaging these guys as much as possible. How are we doing here? Um, actually, you know what? These guys could probably handle it. If not, then I have a couple men coming in from the rear to help them out. Hmm. Ah, so many things. Alright. Yay, victory. Where's the victory? Go to... Yay! Alright, so yeah, these guys could probably just... You know, actually, it would not be a good idea for you guys to combine. Because we need you guys to split up so that we can have two different armies moving across the Ottomans and conquering them. Um, We need you guys now, since you guys have basically done that. We need you guys to basically block the entire uh, front line. Ah, uh, dang. It's this city, yep. Yep, I knew it. Uh, I'll deal with it in a second, but let me deal with... Uh, mm, forces from here. And I'm going to use these forces to go block the entire Austrian advancement so they don't... So I don't think they'll be able to travel through my territory. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but hopefully it is. I won't be dealing with that 1.8k unit just because they're so pathetic. I don't even think I really need to. Alright, next, moving into Constantinople. Woo! This is a much quicker season that a much quicker like war than last time. Alright, you guys siege down. <sighs> siege these guys down. Uh okay, waiting, waiting, waiting. Alright, how are we doing back over here? Yes, victory. Alright. Well, victory over here. You guys are still moving into position. Alright, you guys, alright, you guys go help them siege this city down. Because obviously. It's not working for him. He's tried many times. And, ooh, we already have our next men. Infantry, the brigades starting to make... Bleh. We're starting to make our next inf infantry brigades. All right, and we have our 25K moving down here. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, we just have to kind of calm down. I don't want to get too overzealous to where bad things start to happen. All right, you guys, chase these guys down. I want these guys completely out of our city. All right, you guys... See these guys. Um, it looks like we'll yeah, it looks like we'll still win this battle, even though it looks like they have the clear advantage. Ooh, never mind. We will not win this battle. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, and that city, as I expected, is the most heavily guarded city. Victory, go to. Okay, just keep chasing them down. We don't want them to gain anything. You guys, I know there's gotta be nothing here. Yep. Okay, you guys just siege. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's just a hopeful dream if you guys could actually win that. Yep, alright. Keep moving down. Move down to... Savan Sivadas, or whatever that is. Alright, and then... Oh man, I must feel... I, it's a good thing that they replaced the Sultan with Mustafa or something like that, because... I would feel so bad. Okay, and they have already annexed for peace. Um, no. Because what we need, and we definitely need as much as we can in this war. And finally, take this city down. This has been the most 
annoying city for resistance ever. All right, there we go. So they won. Okay, I'm gonna have the seven thousand troops go. We heal themselves right here. Um, you guys go down to boot to Bushkinskanki, whatever that is, and we're gonna make sure that they don't have another recruitment area. So I love to take down the cities, and taking down these cities would be a lot of help. Ah oh, man, doing so many things at once. Okay, we're moving these guys back out. Uh, somehow these guys still alive. Don't know how that happened. Um, we are starting to make our massive army recruitment. I'm gonna move them towards. Hmm. Good centralized position will be right about there. Hmm. All right. And siege of Constantinople going a good. Um, replenishing of these guys should go pretty quickly because um, we have so many men. And it seems like the Austrians have moved out of their siege. Don't know why. I mean. What if I could use the Austrians? No, I can't use the Austrians' help to help bring these guys down, but it doesn't even matter. My forces have demoralized them so much that we now have victory. All right, uh, move down to, to this place. We're going to seize these guys down. Uh, victory. I don't know where we're winning these victories, all right? You guys, chase them down. I want these guys dead because they're going to annoy me throughout the rest of this place. All right, you guys, please tell me you guys can take them down. Nope. It doesn't look like it. You guys stink. <laughs> uh, I'll probably have to go send some, like, little tiny troops. Oh, come on. You guys can't change directions. Yep, I knew it. Oh, man. They can't change directions. Alright. You know what? Uh, split the unit for a second. I'm gonna have one guy... Why? Okay. Okay, I don't know why that isn't working, but apparently you can't split units while they're in siege. I, I don't know. Kind of weird. But anyways, attack here. Alright. That's not interfering with my plans. Alright, you guys uh, break through this line. Um, yeah, and then we'll go use these troops to go kill down Constantinople, and then we can start... Uh, breaking down all these, all these territories. <sighs> yeah, oh, and there's a massive first recruitment run. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to wait until they're completely all done with recruiting. And I'll just split up the unit as I see fit. Victory, yay. Go to, alright, just as I expected. Alright, next, go to right here. I guess what I'll do with these guys is I'll move them down to, like, this area. So that they don't have a massive recruit. Oh, defeat. Where do we get to defeat? Defeat over here. Ah! Why does that always happen? Alright, we'll go send these guys in. I don't have time to be dealing with renegade forts or anything like that. They need to just die. And these guys are gonna have a rude awakening. My in my men have already marched towards there. Um, 30k, actually, wow. Maybe I could just use this army right now. I'll have to check. I'll have to check how how they're balanced. Let's see. How are they balanced? They have 31,000 no cannons. They have no cannons. Okay, once they get the cannons, then we can start talking. But let me get a leader for them right now so they don't disappear. And yes, I did watch through the footage and that army back there, the reason why it was gone was because it did disappear. And they want peace? No. We need to gain the territories. I'm waiting for you to declare peace with Austria. Okay, are they dead? No, they, they somehow still are alive. I'm really just going to have to send in, like, my own troop there. Alright, now you guys, go right here, start getting supplies to yourself. Because I bet that's the reason why they're not winning. Alright, you guys, take out these, like, renegades or whatever you want to call them. The Sultan's Army! Maybe. Maybe that's a good name for them. The Sultan's Army. Alright, you guys move down here. Alright, that should be enough. That They should not have enough to defend themselves against that. We are losing a lot, though, still. But they're losing a lot more than we are. And with these two armies, I'll move them down. Go take over that. Um, victory. Woo! Alright, and... Um, I don't know if this... You know what? Yeah, maybe I should just wait. I should just wait until all my... Okay. I'm just gonna wait until all my recruitment is done. That way, I keep a well-balanced army. For how many troops I ever created. Alright. 
Um, you guys, yeah, you guys just sit right there just so you guys can make sure they don't get out of place. Okay, maybe, okay, we have these guys still moving down. All right, you guys just finish up with your sage, so you guys move down. All right, I mean, we really don't need this extra army yet, so, you know, there's really no point. And, ah, oh, dang it, where did they get an army like that? Where the heck did they get an army like that? They have never had an army like that in ever. Whenever I fight them, I've always seen the Ottomans be a pathetic bunch of people. <sighs> Alright, that means I'm going to have to deploy these guys a little bit sooner than I wanted to. To go crush the... Uh, no wonder why the Austrians are moving down. Alright, well, we could probably see these... Ah. Uh, see, I don't want to go through another war with these guys. I don't. Hmm. Let's see, well, what could we do with them? Because we need to, we definitely need to break these guys up a little bit more. Um, release nations. Release the nation of Greece. I want you to release the nation of Greece. Okay, they would not accept the Alpha. Release Serbia. They would not accept the Alpha. Oh, well, we definitely need them to release Greece. That way we have another good focal point between them. So, we're fighting until we at least release Greece. Alright, I did want a little bit more, but I didn't realize they actually had an army. <laughs> and that army is not tiny whatsoever. Though, I'm still gathering up my forces over here, so, you know, you never quite know. And I don't think they're gonna quite attack us until... Uh, they're gonna just keep sieging down little tiny cities, so I'll have enough time to get my army over there. In fact, this army over here... is just doing its job, and we got a new focal point, and firing ideas, big ship attacks. Well, that's gonna help in the long run, no? Um... We need to, we need to honestly get our war exhaustion down, so that's what I'm going to do for that national ideas. Um, siege down this. Alright, are you guys ready to finally take down this city? I mean, it, it's been annoying both of, oh, I'm glad you guys are sick. Yep, that command is just like in a, in a loop of death. Which basically means he's not going to win this, and it seems like this army is big enough. Oh, shoot. Don't tell me, don't tell me they engaged them. No, we did not engage the big gigantic army. Alright, good. Alright, 52,000 men under the command of a really horrible guy. You know what, I'm going to give him a better commander. This guy, um, with this guy, with this guy, with, uh, this guy. Okay, all you guys, um, head down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start... Probably my army here would not be good enough to fight against the 72k that's static right there. But what we can kind of do is, they're going to be weakened from fighting the Austrians. And what we can kind of do is pick off some of this army. Kind of make sure that we have this. And right over here, am I willing to sacrifice? No. These guys are not ready and I'm not even going to try to attack them. Okay, you guys just keep sieging down these eight regions. I mean, the Middle East should not be... Millie should not be much of a target. Um, let me see. I'm also, I'm also kind of stressed for time. I have to finish this entire war in one year because, uh, no, you guys aren't ready yet. All right, Just siege attack. All right, and yeah, they seem to be, seem to be fighting them a lot more. But yeah, this is a good army. This is a good army. I'm gonna go back to Ruskin, challenge them. All right, happens. Alright, you guys move down to Thazem. Um You guys, you guys will reinforce these people because they just cannot get a break. They're just not, I don't know, they're just not, I, I don't, I honestly just don't know, alright. Constantinople Siege is going as planned. Um, oof, okay. We're retaking, we're retaking all this back. This is basically ours. Um, Ooh, and they fragmented the force. Come on. Big gigantic army. Get there. This is such a good opportunity for us to just start picking up their army. To rubble. I mean, not to be rude, but I would have expected the Austrians to put up much more of a fight. But they really aren't. But my army is about to become here. Um it has some it has one of our best. Not one of our best best, but. A guy who's gonna try to prove himself, Lewis. You know, that's kinda funny, I have a friend named Lewis. <laughs> you know what? This will be my friend named Lewis. 
I know his name's Alexander, but his name is General Lewis. Come on, General Lewis! You could do this! Yeah, your first test is you have to crush this little tiny army right here. Alright, that's your first test. Good. You overran these guys. Next, you guys will... Next, you'll try to crush all these guys over here. Um, I'll group all these guys over here into good units. Um, still a siege of Constantinople going on. Um, now we can break these guys over here. Uh, still moving down troops from over there. Alright. Luckily, I completely shut off this empire from that part of the empire. I don't know if that- I don't know if it works the same as in, like, um, Hearts of Iron. But, yeah, I did that. So, awesome. Alright. Go back to this war. Alright. I mean, this is where- this is really where we have to really crunch time it. We have to really start crushing down all the troops, and my massive recruiting run is starting to pay off. We have a lot of men. Just tons and tons of men. Alright, you take down Beji. I know you guys want peace, but I don't think you guys are ready for all the peace demands I want. Or all the territory I want. We go right here, actually. We need to kind of conquer this in order. Alright. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I want to see these guys down, but they're level 2 and they have 39,000 troops. Alright. First engagement of the new army. Uh, the Ottomans are very good at. at at like protection battles but they are losing this badly they just don't have the militaristic power all right good now that we even crush these guys close down take down lassie take down whatever troops are gonna be there all right there might be no troops actually because it seems like they're pulling out everything damn all right seems like they're moving to cut on move your troops towards there all right you have another 10,000 break off broken off I'm gonna go send my 12,000 to go deal with them all right since the siege of Constantinople seems to be taking or Istanbul it's taking a long long time just a long time all right victory against Mohammed oh dude you're still alive oh dang that that does not fill me with any joy to be killing my greatest commander in any of my campaigns and it seems like these guys want to be okay good I'm I'm just gonna try to kill these guys as much as I can. Mm. And if they do try to retreat, I'm just going to instantly attack them because we need we need to destroy the entire army so that they're not a threat to us. Um, these guys, it's actually gonna be a pretty even battle, but due to morale reasons, I don't think they're gonna win. Um, back down here, uh, conquering this, yay! All right over here, can we please? For the for the love of of nachos, can we please please win the love of nachos? The not love of nachos had your blessing. No, curse you, love of nachos. It does not work, everyone. It does not work. Never never love nachos. I guess I, I guess that's what the game's saying. Yeah. Um. All right. Yes, we completely crushed the troops right there. All right. Um. How are we doing up here? It seems like. It seems like we still have the upper advantage. I'm going to send men to go right here. And I want you to go right there. Because I bet that's where they're going. And yeah. We crushed the entire Ottoman troops. In less than four months. Good job. Good job, victory points. Um, okay, you guys. All you guys are the new cannons. You guys go up here. You guys go right here. Alright. And... Uh, yeah, we will, these guys are not these guys aren't strong enough to go deal with them. Mm. All right, so let's see. They would give us a lot of land, but let's see. How much is our war score right now? Really? Thirty uh, percent? It's probably because we haven't really conquered anything major. Mm. We were mostly conquering like little tiny states that aren't really important to them at all. So I could I could see that. I could see how that kind of works. They're gonna, you know, they're just gonna instantly go into comp. Yeah. Okay. They're overran. They're definitely not gonna win this. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's go hunt down the last Ottoman force. Um, over here. The siege of Constantinople is going without a hitch. More conquest. We got this in the bag now. I mean, now we can go back to just pushing them through. This fort, uh, why not? Why not push through them a little bit? Alright. 
Uh, all you guys. I think this is the maximum amount of men I recruited. I think there's only like a couple more rounds. But I think this is all like, yeah, I finished up with, we finished up with all the cavalry and all the artillery. Ah, all right. And it seems like they're still moving on. And you know, I'm, I'm just going to ignore them because it seems like they're just going to enter in with a lot of Ottoman troops. I mean, Ottoman troops, uh, uh, Austrian troops. So I'm just going to retreat and use these guys to go break down the siege of Constantinople. Because with all these guys, we should have enough. I mean, come on. The, the, the legend of it being an immortal city of unconquest. Yeah, we proved that wrong last, like, two episodes ago. So, alright, let's do that. Let's give this guy, give this guy a new commander. Okay, footage, I don't really care. Give him commander, commander. I'm not really caring who I'm giving them, but okay. 52,000, you guys are moving down to go help with the siege over here. Um, maybe these guys, I will give them credit. They have held up longer than most. Okay, you guys just naturally broke, but we have lost a lot of men in this kind of campaign for the Middle East. And yet we, yeah, we're losing a lot more men to these guys. I'm just going to wait until they're just completely, completely like surrendered. There is just no more point to it. And I have my 52k going in to go make sure they clean up everything. No, actually, the Austrians are cleaning up everything for me. Wow. Thank you, Austria. And it's January 23rd. I have to quickly... I have to quickly... I have to quicken the pace of this. Alright, so we need to quickly kick down... Because we only have two months to get prepared for our next war, which is... Um... Kind of short. Um... Uh... Um, you guys go right here. We need you guys to stand right there against the Pushkin army. Um, right. Yeah. This this might be a quick war, but anyways, siege down, siege down the inevitable city of Constantinople. Um, eesh. Ouch. Worrisome. I don't really care. Ouch! This is not a good siege. We are losing lots of men. Ooh. Alright, is there any chance I could, like, declare peace? No. No. You guys need to kind of die before I completely give up. We want to demand that you release the state of Greece at least. They would accept that offer. Okay. Next, we want you to release the... Okay, they would not accept that offer. I kind of knew that. Alright, well, how much land could we take from this? Before you guys would not... Okay. Could we take this? They would not accept this offer. Well then, I'm not going to declare peace yet. I still need that city. And Constantinople is being a witch. So I'll send these guys to go down. Yeah, it seems like the Austrians just basically cleaned up the entire army of theirs. And I have my last little bit of the army creating over here. I don't know what this is by supernatural means. I don't know what they're talking about. But yeah, we lost the battle here. It's okay though. I have another big gigantic force moving up. There is only so much they can take. Alright, down here. Take down some of these cities. Uh, victory, yep. Alright, next, move down here. I mean, we we base, we base almost have the entire Middle East taken care of. Oof, alright. Moving down my army. Okay, see, see, the Austrians have that part taken care of. They basically are taking care of all the men. I'm building up my own infantry divisions. You guys are going down there to go take down these guys. Um, are they in Gaza yet? They're in Gaza. No, they're in the place I need them to be. Man. You know, this would be a good place to just, like, recruit a lot of units. Alright, they're dead. Move down. Ah. Right. I'm not even going to siege him, because I already know what will happen. Right, you guys move down here. Right. Okay, good. Move up here. Alright, now we got the entire Middle East. We got 26k troops here. Um, I don't think they're really that good. But, you know what? I don't really care. My, yeah, they only have men in them. So I'll move them to go right here. Uh, march. Ah! Uh. So close. Alright! 
for the next episode, people, um, I kind of was a little bit too late. And then March 30th, we're going to have to declare war on these guys. Which stands also, we're going to have to declare war on these guys. So, for next episode, people, we are going to war. We're going to all-out total war. Ugh. Man, this is, this is gonna be this is gonna be chaos the next episode. But I hope you guys love this let's play. Hope you guys want to see more of this. And oh my goodness, this is gonna be this is gonna be a big task for my next invasion plan. Um, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll see you next time for the Zog.